Oh, hi, my name is Atrice Joseph. I'm 19 years old and this is my final year of the Sixth Farm program and this is my creative project. As a child, I've always loved art. Growing up, my mom taught me about drawing and different aspects of art and since then, I guess I took that with me all through my time during my secondary school year. In our syllabus, we were required to do a creative project which is something big and different that we weren't accustomed to usually be doing at school and when we were talking about the options that we had the topic mural came up which I got very interested in because I thought it was a real good way to portray my love for art and also to be able to leave my mark on the school wall for the future generations to come. So this is my creative project that I decided to do painting a mural because we were told to do a creative project, it had to be something big and major and I decided a mural would have been the best way possible as it will help to beautify the school and also leave my mark on the school wall for future generations to come. Well, as you can see, this is a very big wall. I did it all on my own and my theme or concept of this was basing it on the subject art all together by itself. As you can see here, we have a face, we have fashion, we have home ec, pottery, music, stenciling and graffiti. Also the background design is to fall on the art design altogether. Now the whole point of my mural, well I came up with my idea. I got a grade one at CDXC when I did it in 2016 and since then everyone asked me what subjects you do at school and I'm always like I did art and oh my god you can draw and it bothers me to think that when everyone is like art is just drawing or if I say I do art and be like oh well I don't do art because I cannot draw and it really bothers me to know that when everyone thinks art is just basically on drawing. I was like, well, I need to teach future, I have to teach the future generation about what art really is. So that came up, that thought alone is what brought me to showing other people that there's more to art than just drawing. Now, this face is the main attention, that's why she's the biggest, because she is drawing itself. She's only in black and white because when you draw, you usually draw in black and white. For any time you add color, it's a whole different level of art. So she's in black and white that represent the fact that everyone thinks this is all you're supposed to do in art. And the others, where we have here, we have fashion to show that Hoan, there's more to art than just drawing. You can be a, a designer, you can go into the whole wide world selection of fashion where you can create pieces, create wonderful new designs. You can do shoes, you can do jewelry, you can do other topics is not just about drawing. We have graffiti. This takes place and this takes part in a lot of things in our world today because as you know wherever we go we look around there's always a name somewhere. There's a logo. There's there's you know there's a name for everything. We have brand name. We have things like Nike, um Shafat, KFC, everything has a logo. Everything has to have a name, a color. You know, so that's what it is. Go, go, you can go into this as well. It's not just about drawing. Here we have home economics. It doesn't have to be on pen or paper. You can literally cook, cook, and design your own stuff. When you go into the whole world of culinary arts, there you have a lot of selection, selective options that can take you far. And all of it is still based on art. Over here we have pottery because there's not a lot of people who like to actually do things they prefer creating sculptures and stuff with their hands. Hence this takes place because in pottery there are many ways you can, you know, there's a lot of things you can create. You can create, you can create sculpture as I said before, you can create beautiful landscapes, you know, there's a lot of aspect. And then on top, as you can see, we have music. Music also is art. As much as you don't have to write or draw or create anything with your hand, just simply playing an instrument, that is a form of art. So music takes place in all of this. And that is basically what my mural is all about. And over here, as you can see, there's two gas bottles. I had to find a way to incorporate my gas bottles with the mural itself because I couldn't move it, I couldn't paint over it because it, the gas bottle is changed on the regular. So from a certain angle, like when you're standing over there, you can actually see the hands pressing out the gas, which sprays on the wall itself. So this is me being creative with my creative project, I guess.
this mural is um, one that I want to be viewed by everyone who comes to the school, who may be visiting, who actually, you know, who actually comes to the school. I want when they look at my mural, they can see something that they can actually take from here and put it in the future. I want when they look at it and they can be like, oh my God, I can't draw, but at least I can do pottery. I may not have fashion sense, but at least I can do home economics. That way that they can bring new changes to the world. They can take their ideas far, come up with new creative ways to do different things. The same things that we're doing, they can do it different, do it new, you know, enhance it. I wanted to seize their opportunity moment from this into knowing what they want to do with their life. I intend to take my studies of art further in life and I decided to choose the career of being an event planner. That way I will be able to help assist people who would like to decorate their events, probably like weddings, parties, where I can have the opportunity to take my imagination and bring it to the world. I also want to thank everyone who was with me on this journey, everyone who assisted me, gave me help. So I'd like to thank, first of all, my art teacher, Miss, Mrs. Bascom. She taught me art from Fifth Farm. And from Fifth Farm and I really love her. She is one of the most nicest and sweetest person I've ever met and she never give up on me. I'd like to thank God, second, sorry, but he gave me the strength and courage to be able to do what I did. I'd like to thank my mom who taught me about art from the time I was a child, who gave me a sense of love and emotion towards it. I'd like to thank those who helped me help donate paint towards this so Stefan I'd like to thank him also because he was the person who helped me in sponsoring my paints I'd like to thank Miss Greenwich for conducting this interview that way I can actually be able to get Mark on it and also my one of my peer Calencia Calencia nurse she did a mural here as well but she helped me a lot because she help to encourage me, give me ideas when I didn't have any and the same thing I did to her. We were, it was like an on and off thing and we were together the whole entire way. I'd like to thank all of those who... I am 19 year old Atrice Joseph, a final year sixth farmer of the Allen School, located in Belle Plaine, St. Andrew, Barbados. Thank you.